same exact Riton horn that I'd begin, begun to make at this class. You know, I'm to the stage where you are, where there's no texture on it or anything like that yet. Um, we've got it flipped the, the correct way, so it's the top opening for the cup and everything like that. I'm a, I've also gotten to the point where you should be with your animal. So this is going to be a chipmunk. Um, I haven't bothered to put all the details on yet because I haven't actually attached it yet to my project. Um, sometimes those details are better to put on afterwards, like ears. My ears are going to go on afterwards, after it's actually attached to the project. Okay? So, um, one thing that I want you to notice about this is I planned out how it actually fits to the Riton horn. So I cut a big divot on the head, so that way when I line it up with the Riton horn, I don't have a lot of gaps between where the animal is and where the horn opening is. Right? So you need to do the same thing, is plan out how you're going to make that attachment so that you don't have gaps. What do you do if there is gaps? What do you think you do? Add clay. Just add clay. You know, you might choose to do some coils, you might choose to do something else, but um, that's going to be what you'll do. Your next step after you plan that out is to add score marks everywhere that the clay is going to be touching clay. So I'm So you got to make sure that you get slip everywhere where the clay is going to attach. But there's another step to make sure that the, the animal does not fall off. And that's going to be an extra support coil that we put all the way around the animal. So take that coil, wrap it all the way around. This is an assured way that the animal head is not going to fall off. Especially if you're going to plan on having your animal at a different kind of angle so that it's not just flat, you know, sitting right on the table. Now this is a great way to really make sure that you get that animal head to be at the angle that you want it to be. Okay? After you complete this section and you get it all blended in, you're going to add all the extra details. You're going to add all the details. So the animal, most animals are not going to have a smooth texture. So you've got to think about um, how you create that texture. Like for mine, I'm creating a chipmunk. It's got fur. So I'm going to go all over the surface of this, and I'm going to look at my image, which is somewhere, and I'm going to um, add in the lines of fur. So I'm going to just slightly make these little marks like this all around the surface of my animal. Now, now you can see why I waited until now to add the ears, because those would actually be placed right where that coil is. So they've got like tiny little ears, kind of like this shape here kind of placed right there at the connection of the right on. So that's why I waited until now to add them on. All right? What do you need to make sure that you have for your animal in terms of making sure it doesn't blow up in the kiln? Right? I didn't add one on the underside. I took one of those wooden dowels and I just made a small hole right in the front where the mouth is. Right? That's how I made sure that there's air that can get in there. 